Good morning. This morning we have woken up in Trabzon, but today we're doing something a little bit special. We're Marianne and Chris. In May 2018, we quit the nine to five, rented our house to travel full time. Due to the pandemic, our attempt to drive around the world has been put on pause. Finding ourselves in Turkey, we are going to show you the best this country has to offer. So in the back of the van, we have all our tools and bits. But one of the biggest things is the spare tire and it takes up most of the room. We're going to do some work to get the tire on the back of Trudy. So we couldn't fit the bracket that we're proposing on this side because of the door handle. So we're looking at this side. We want to still be able to open the window if we can and obviously we've still got to be able to see the number plate. So the plan is that they're going to attach a bracket onto the two hinges and then come across and put another bracket on here and then put the tar in the middle and then put the number plate on the um, tire on the bracket somewhere where it can be seen still illuminated so it's still legal we brought some spare number plates with us in case we damaged any on the road and we had to replace them otherwise it could make border crossings a bit complicated so uh, so yeah so the first job we got to do is i've got to get the tire out of the back here and uh, find the number plate which is in there somewhere Okay, the tyres are out and the number plate is found. Good start. Okay, so we've arrived at the garage. This is where the work is going to be done. This garage here, just outside of Trabzon. The plan is we're going to leave Trudy here and then go back to the cafe do some video editing and then come back this afternoon and uh, we're trusting Trudy in their capable hands what do you reckon love <laughs> hey, okay. okay we've left Trudy and we're now walking back to uh, the cafe where we're gonna work um, it's always hard leaving the van because it is our home and we always take the real valuables with us like your passports your computers your cameras um but we do always we always worry don't we why don't like and, anybody driving my van <laughs> and then he said take everything everything valuable out the van i went it's all valuable it's all we have <laughs> so yeah so we'll be going back there late this afternoon maybe four or five o'clock yeah he said five o'clock and uh watch this space Is it windy today? In fact, there's quite a lot of surf going on right here. It's been really calm, but it's the ideal opportunity to talk to you about today's sponsor of our video, Surfshark VPN. As you know, we'll only ever discuss and share with you the products that we know, trust and love. So Surfshark is a VPN. And what is a VPN, I hear you ask? It's a virtual private network. I'm not a computer whiz at all. But what a VPN does is it creates an extra level of security. And that is really important for us when we're using public Wi-Fi connections whilst we're on the road. So not only does it give you a secure connection, 
but it allows you to make your computer think it's in a completely different country. Why is that important? Well, for us, we love to watch Netflix and iPlayer back home in the UK. And when we travel, normally we can't access some programs. Some programs like MasterChef on Netflix, we can't watch on the road. And so we make the computer think it's in the UK and then we can watch it. Or for those Brits traveling, you wanna watch BBC iPlayer. Normally outside the UK, you can't watch BBC iPlayer, but with the Surfshark VPN, you can. So what's the catch? How much does it cost? The good news is Surfshark are offering Tread the Globe followers a very special price. If you use the link in the description below and the discount code Tread the Globe, you get 83% off plus three months free. And that's just $59.76 or $2.21 a month. At that price, and for the peace of mind, it's a no-brainer. So we've spent the day hanging out in the cafe, doing loads of work, editing the next video. It's about quarter past six now. The guy's message to say that it's taking a little bit longer than planned, but that's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. So we are going now, we're just walking. It's a five, 10 minute walk just to go and collect Trudy. So we're just coming up to Trudy and what's funny is she's facing the wrong way. <laughs> we're on a big main road and Trudy's facing the wrong way. Wow, super, looking good. That looks really good. It looks very good. This is the machine that he made it on and it was made in 1960 and they're still making beautiful handcrafts on it today. Thank you very much. Teshi Kore Dirum. We were told by so many people if you need anything being made, created in Turkey, there are lots of really, really good people that have the skill set to do so. So if you come near Trabzon, this is your man. The joys of meeting genius people <laughs> uh, to create. He's actually created a locking nut um, with a secret weapon. I can't give you the details, uh, but he's created His and own. created this whole rack and then given us a locking key. Which he's made himself. He's made himself. How do you say genius? It's another beautiful morning. Sun is shining, waking up here, just outside of Trabzon on the Black Sea coast. This morning, we wanted to take you into the little cafe that you can see behind us. It's kind of been our work base for the last uh, couple of days. In fact, yesterday when Trudy was having her tire rack put on, we spent the whole day, eight hours, sat working in this little cafe. It's got such cool modern decor that we thought we'd give you a quick look around. So now it's daylight, we want to show you our new cool tire rack. So how amazing is this? What do you reckon, love? I love my tire rack. In fact, it's now my coffee. 
<laughs> shelf in the morning. Every morning, I hate mornings, Chris wakes me up with a cup of coffee. And now, instead of uh, asking him to pass it to me every time I want a sip, if we're both sat in bed, I can now put it there. Although the glass of wine might be a bit unbalanced. <laughs> Yeah, I don't tend to put the glass of wine down. But the <laughs> it, does. it doesn't last enough. And uh, they've done a fab job. So they've made this up and attached it to the two hinges here. And uh, made of iron, they've painted it black. They asked us if they, we want it coloured and we said just spray it black. They've put it over the, uh, the original number plate that you can see just about behind here. Uh, which has the electrics to light it up but we said because it's a, a legal requirement in most countries they have put a new number plate here we had a spare one and they've put a new a new strip light on and I think they've done a fab job the the wheel looks the spare looks actually a bit more rusty <laughs> and uh, they've attached another bracket here and then looking inside feels heavy the door feels so much heavier doesn't it it does it does the suleiman has done a fantastic he's job. done a fabulous job and there's just a little electric wire that goes out here and it doesn't get squeezed uh, there's a big enough gap for it so uh, that should be should be okay and we're going to have more space in the back now so the yeah. barbecue and stuff can fit in the back um might need a little bit of a sort out in there love at some point I'll do that after I finish the newsletter. There you go. So this is, uh, this was our joint birthday present to both of us. And uh, I think it's very cool. And uh, as we said yesterday, what's really amazing is he actually made his very own locking nuts here and gave us a, a tool specifically made for this one that he made. The skill is just amazing, but we're really, really pleased with that. She's looking more overlandish now, I think, love. I think she's looking awesome. She's ready for Mongolia. All we need is this bloody virus to go away. <laughs> Whilst in Trabzon, we have just been adopted by the loveliest people. Um, we met this, um, well in fact we were contacted um, on social media by a lady called Miriam, who has um, some Canadian family um, who follow us. And um, they let her know that we were in Trabzon. Uh, so I got a message via Instagram saying, Hi, I'm Miriam. If you need anything, let me know. I'm here. I speak English. Um, just reach out anytime if you need anything. And um, I said we were working really hard in this cafe, but we would love to meet her if she had time to come down. And she pitched up with her adorable family. They are all so lovely. And she even kidnapped us and took us back to her mum and dad's house, which is up in the hills. And she's behind me. She's behind the camera going, no, no. But she is. She's lovely. And so are her family. There's a quick glimpse. Hello. <laughs> uh, we're going to go up to a restaurant, which is a fish restaurant predominantly. Um, as everybody, all of you have told me, we have to eat fish whilst in Trabzon. And it's the fish season. So we, they brought us to their local restaurant where they go. Um, you can't beat recommendation from a local. And uh, we're going to eat some of the fish. So um, we're going to show you what that's all about. One thing they told us we had to eat at the Black Sea was fish. And we've come with these guys to a fish restaurant called the Calais restaurant just outside of Trabzon, about half an hour out. And this is looking amazing. Look at this spread. Wow. So what, what have we got? What have we actually got? What, what is this one here? That's, it's called Manta. It's Manta. Manta is like a Turkish version of ravioli, I guess you can say. Ah, okay. So okay. it's like pasta. Yeah, it's a pasta, pasta. with a meat filling that's is just cheese cheese. Regular cheese and then we've got uh whiting whiting is that what it's called in i turkish? think it's whiting it looks like whiting like in fried fish in turkish it's called uh, mezgit and they 
Uh, put it in um, corn flour. Oh, and, and then fry, fry it. it. They fry it. Yeah. Beautiful. And then what's this one here? That uh, Turkish name is uh, levrek, but I don't in English. I think it's a bass or a sea bass. Okay. And they cook it in like a tomato sauce, tomato, onion, pepper. And then sometimes, like this one, they put cheese on top of it. Oh, so this Ooh. is the same one, it's but with same, cheese. With cheese on it, yeah. Okay. And then we've got the normal. This is like a, just like a sauce, I guess you put yeah. on a bread. For the bread. Yeah. Okay. Some salad. salad. This is a turshu karma, sadima. Yeah. This is called, uh, it's uh, pickled green beans, fresh wow. green beans. Ooh, lovely. And Marianne's got kofte. But they're the local ones. They're one on the kebab list that we must visit, and they are called. Yeah. Yay! There you go. And they look amazing. Really cool. They do. Okay, time to eat, guys. We had a fab time with Hayati and his friends the other day when they invited us up to their house in the mountains to uh, to have some lunch. And today we are heading into Trabzon to meet up with them because they're going to show us around their city. So the first spot that we are meeting him this morning is on this wonderful fishing harbour down here in Trabzon. Doesn't it look amazing? All these fishing boats. There's a big uh, fishing industry here in the Black Sea and it always looks better when the sun is shining. Did you lock the van? I didn't lock oh. the van. I locked the van. I locked it, I think, but I don't think I put the alarm on. Good night, Ian. Good night, Ian. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've come down and we're going to stop and have something to drink. Check out all these fish. If you ever wondered whether the Black Sea had good marine life, there is your answer. And of course, being in Turkey, we have to start the day with some chai, right? So the tea comes either filtered or non-filtered. You can see all the tea leaves in the bottom there. That's the non-filtered one. That's the normal one. And then we've got the filtered one. So the Black Sea is definitely not looking black this morning it's lovely bluey green with loads of lovely fish having breakfast it's teeming with life you've been feeding the fish love <laughs> i am not alone i am not alone oh, it's, special. Oh, is it different? it's just different I don't know. It's, it's different why is it different why is it different start the day with a simit oh it's lovely and hot it does taste good that's good. How do you know? It's good. What's the difference? It's the same. <laughs> Is it the same? <laughs> it's different in Trabzon. <laughs> because Trabzon water is different from the other. Of course. The water. I think he's telling porky pies. So we're just walking along behind all these little fishermen's houses because their friend owns one but 41 is the best yes 41 is the best you can best. tell it's very posh compared to the neighbors and temel reese house temel reese yeah what does that mean he's the comedian comedian oh yeah famous people in black sea Popeye, do you know Popeye? Popeye. Popeye, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is the same Temel? Yeah, yeah, Temel. Oh, this is the it's the Turkish Popeye. Turkish Popeye, yeah. It's a Turkish Popeye. Turkish Popeye, yeah. Turkish Popeye. Does he eat spinach? He eats spinach. So the little houses here, people actually live in during the season. They go fishing, they work, and they sleep in these wonderful little houses and go so fishing. and they go fishing so we're looking forward to going and having a little nose in one of them oh wow 
It's a proper little house. I love it. Little staircase. How cool is this? That's it, <laughs> and they got us a puppy. They got us a puppy. Hey, puppy. Nice. Oh, they got a balcony on that one. Wow, look at this. And that's where we just had our cup of tea. So we've just walked round. Marianne goes straight to the dog. There's a puppy. There's a puppy. Puppies. Hey pups. Make sure you join us on the next episode when we give you a full guided tour around the wonderful city of Trebson. Baby! Uh huh? We've just hit 34,000 subscribers. What? 34,000 subscribers! Really? Can you believe so many people follow us? They're awesome. We've got some seriously cool followers. I think that deserves a beer. Oh, you're still there. We want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to our channel. 34,000 of you. That is amazing. If you haven't subscribed and want to make it 34,001 then make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss an episode and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.